Welcome to another video. Today I'll be showing you my uh, cardboard tank collection. Now I have a lot, of, not really a lot of cardboard tanks since I've not been, I've been very busy with my life. So, um, yeah, let's get on to it. Now, the first tank, the oldest tank I actually might have is probably the, um, I mean, I have some old ones, but they're broken. So, but the oldest one I probably have is probably the KV-1. Now, I made the second version of this, but it's, uh, I haven't found it. I made sure I left it somewhere. I just forgot where I put it. But this is the KV-1. It's not really that detailed. I messed up right over here a lot. Lost the glue. This is not attached because I'm lazy. The paint job is awful. I mean, yes, I have a, uh, like an up and down turret, which is the first. I'm pretty sure my one of my only turrets I have besides the chassis tank, which I will show you soon. Yeah, this turret. I mean, it's very old. It's very awful. And most of these designs I got are from Nine Productions. Just type him. Just type Nine and then put Productions. And you show up his YouTube channel. And I recommend go checking him out because he is a very talented guy. So yeah. Alright, so the next so yeah, I'm gonna put this KV crappy KV one away. I just leave it so, uh, away. Now the next oldest tank I have was probably the um the T thirty four. Now to be honest now this tank is very small. I, I forgot I completely have this uh, removal, um, like a turret mechanism, but it's very small. I give you a comparison of, uh, I have like a toy soldier here, and it's very small. And as the KV2, I mean KV1, sorry, it's like, here's the KV, comparison of the KV1. The turret fell off. The turret fell off. But, yeah, it's very small. Most of my tanks. I also want to take it like, like huge, such as the King Tiger, which I'm going to show you later. But this is a very small tank. Yeah, it looks pretty used as a light tank, probably. But I'm going to make a newer version of this. And, yeah. Put that away. And the next tank I have is probably, um, no, I'm just going to show you all the Russian specs. Now here is the, I forgot what this tank is called, but... I forgot what it's called again. Uh, let me think of it. Uh, I don't know, but this was from his channel, and he and I try to make the round, round turret, but I kind of fail because I didn't have like all the materials I need. So yeah, that's okay, I guess. This is my machine gun here, and this is actually the first thing I actually put wheels on because I don't, because as you seen. And my oldest tank, which is the KV-2, I mean KV-1, doesn't have wheels. Same thing as the, uh, as the, uh, T-34. And speaking of T-34, that's how small it is. That's small. It's that small. So, yeah. Overall, it's a pretty neat tank. Um, yeah. Oh, and you all wondering why some of these are, like, some of the turrets are cardboard and some of them are, like, like, mechanical pencil like these barrel things the barrels are actually made of mechanical pencils but apparently in my school no one ever draws mechanical pencils because i want to hold like regular pencils and that is what i don't like to use because i don't use mechanical pencil for uh, like like either average what people think you're supposed to use for like pencil. it's for tanks and some so that's why you see some of my tanks don't have any uh like those me mechanical barrel things so yeah, the next thing I have was probably is the Tiger. This is the Tiger 1. Now, this is actually very small than it looks. It's one of the smallest German tanks I have. Yeah. Um, the turret's very small. The barrel's very long for somehow. I need to trim it, but yeah. This tank is on wheels because I'm too lazy to add wheels. And the paint job is okay, I guess. This is a revolving turret, not like my KV-1. And, yeah. I actually made like three versions of the of the Tiger. But I might need to make the fourth version because this one is too small. Because it's about the same size as my 
Key Daddy 4, which is not in the same size as well, but yeah. Yeah. But anyhow, I like this tank. I'm hard to use this as a light tank. So yeah. The next tank I have was probably the uh the pan the pan I think the pen for a panzer. I think it's it's panzer, I think. I don't know. I put 17 B because I just think of a number random number I just decided to put 17 B. Yeah. Nice detailed. Because I don't know what add to use, but I made them a little thicker and I covered them up, have part of them with plates. Yeah. Oh, and if I were you, when you're making cardboard tanks, which I got this advice from Iron Productions, um, is to have thin cardboard, like cardboard from like like packaging from like Lego sets. I don't know, cause you can really tell you can see like the uh, the inside of it, or or you could just squish it, but that might take extra time. Yeah. And I was trying to make a um, turret mechanism on one of the tutorials. This was actually one of the tutorials. Tutorials, and I made. This was actually the second version. The first version ended up got destroyed by my, uh, um, by my uh, grandpa, and he actually stepped on it. Yeah. But anyhow, that that one was kind of sucky since the turret was like huge. Yeah. All right, moving on. All right, the next German tank I have is probably not re the second detail detail detailist tank I have is probably. Oh God, it's not it. The, uh, um, the King Tiger tank. The King Tiger tank is huge. I probably made it a little too big, but, yeah, I'm probably, yeah. It's okay, I guess, but one problem is that I made the, it, the tur this one here is leaning, like, slanted, the top part slanted. The turret's a little too small. The turret also came off. This is why I was trying to make a turret mechanism. It was actually the, um, I forgot anyway. I forgot what happened. Oh yeah, because I tried to make a turret, but I had too much super um I mean not super glue, hot glue and this will happen. Yeah. I have a lot of weak kind of wash, it's a little slanted. Yeah. That way. And the most detailed tank I have is probably the Stug um the Stungor Stug free. I don't know me I think it's called I don't know. Very detailed, has these slant pads like as the actual tank. I kind of messed, the paint actually messed it up a lot. They have the German cross and the wheels. There's a lot of wheels on here. Yeah. Well, he's a comparison with, uh, I don't know, like a half American soldier. It's very, it's like sh small. I don't know if that's supposed to be right or not, but I have no idea. So, yeah. Now they're all. Now, the last two Mer the tanks I have are American. So here is my first one. Like, I only made two because I'm making another one. But it's just not done yet. So yeah. Here, here is the Sherman I made out of cardboard. So, yeah, the Sherman. And I, fa I failed making a turret again. So because of that, actually, so because of that, um, um, is like slanted down. Actually, the bear, actually, I made this like the base of this tank, um, slanted so it always looks go down. But at least it has like, it has like a um, toy soldier in it. The back is very neat. The back side is probably my favorite part because it's actually most, it's actually more like the replica. I use a paper towel and then put paint in it to make it soak and then make a heart like that. Yeah. Of course this tank doesn't have wheels because I'm too lazy. Yeah. And my last American tank, which I'm not really proud of, but it has wheels, is the Chaffee tank. Now the Chaffee, I think I did horrible on because number one, um, I failed on it because apparently it was make I made it a little look slanted or look weird. And this is actually one of the tanks I did by myself, so yeah, I'm not really that good. Plus, this area right here looks makes it look weird. Side parts look weird, so yeah. So 
that's where we ended my tank collection. I really don't have a lot stuff to say. All I have to do is just get a reference picture or just watch nine productions of how to make tanks. Now, I will leave it with just um, um, the link in the description, but I can't do that because apparently I don't know how to use an iPad. Because I'm actually recording on my iPad right now. But yeah. Now, before I go, I'd like to give you guys some fun facts. So, okay, so this wasn't actually my first tank I actually made. The, the first tank I made was the Tiger, actually. So, um, the Tiger, which is... It was like a bigger version of Tiger, except it was camouflage, and uh, there was no there was no slant side right here, which kind of sucks, you know. I just keep, so I keep forgetting to add that. So yeah, might be my the Tiger might be my favorite German tank because it's so basic, so it's easy for me to do it. Yeah. Now I also made another version, the Chaffee, and the. Uh, German somewhere, yeah. Those two quite sucked, and um, those two actually suck very horribly. So I decided to make this one, and it still sucks, but it's much better than the first one. Now I don't know if I might use these guys in the video or not. I haven't yet, but I'm probably will. Yeah. And next American tank I'm probably gonna make is probably the M3 Lee or the. Uh, the M26 Persian. Um, so, yeah. So, yeah. Now, I have, like... Now, I have, like, um... Oh, I also forgot one more thing. I also have this landing craft right here, but... It's very really basic. I forgot a machine gun turret, but this... I guess the machine gun's, like, in the driver's seat. I don't know. The door's open and closed, kind of. Kind of. It's... Just close this thing. See, it close. They off a job with the paint. And two, and this is actually just one layer because all, all the door can put in water. And apparently the paint wasn't dry enough. And guess what? I, the uh, first layer fell off. So it took me like two days for me to fix that. Yes, two days. Um, actually, it would have probably taken me one day if I have, didn't have people all work. So, yeah. Anyway, see you guys later. Goodbye.